In a world where parts are easily available, where open fields in the internet are commonplace, and where children dare to reach for the stars, you open the way for... a rocket with a child on it to the moon which in retrospect kind of sounds ridiculous but I didn't know that I was supposed to get the child to survive safety was a little rough in the early days <laughs> until they figured out they could put us in the rocket instead of on top of it. We had to figure out ways to use our environment. We made the astronauts climb up in below zero temperatures, climbing up hills in the snow, and it kind of worked, I think. <laughs> Jim was a test pilot once. This is all that's left of him. Well, the test launches were kind of hard. Every single time for at least 12 times, the rocket blew up. So we didn't try to put the child in for quite a while. You think they call me McGregor the astronaut? No. You crash one little rocket. <laughs> no. I didn't deserve to be fired because I am the best. What they do with the fired test pilots is what they do with all the fired NUASA workers. They put them in the engineering station. We kind of stuck this little doll that everybody got attached to. We taped her to the rocket to see if we could get her to the moon. And we don't know if it got all the way, but I'd like to believe that little Cla Clarissa made it. Project Meatball was not a success. We never put someone on the moon, just technically. <laughs> 